Next, welcome back to this show. We're welcome doing the show. Welcome back to Root Beer Gamers. Center, right? We can't even take breaks. We can't even anymore. take breaks. We're being held hostage. Hey, hey, Help! Yes. Driver. What? This what? Is, this is your show. <laughs> you have driven me to this. <laughs> you made me this way. Hey, Kyoko. I may as well not have even been in the room. Her gaze was fixed on only one that thing. That present or the picture. A present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. Aww. That's what made it so unusual. Yeah, there's no way that's not something it's fucked up. It's a dick in a box. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> <laughs> there's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get in here. Should we open it in here? I'm getting a kind of bad <laughs> vibe from it in here. But I mean, we can't not open it in here. Okay. In here. Be careful in here, Makoto. Why, you think it's dangerous in here? No, not dangerous in here, but surprising in here, probably. Huh? If it is what I think it is in here, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see in here. Wait, so you know what's in there? Just don't scream or anything, okay? It's gonna Are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. Stick in a box! I took a, I took a deep <laughs> breath, then took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I, think I, I lifted remember it what's up. In here. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> it's a head! What is it? What is it? It's a head. Oh, it's bones! I was close. What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. Was Dr. The last Bones. thing I'd ex Bones is I expected to find in such a it's bright, Jebediah. joyful box. It's Jebediah. <laughs> I mean, who could have possibly imagined? <laughs> Just as I thought. What? There's my dead father. Just as you thought. How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box. A dick in a box. My father. Huh? What about him? That's him. When you found in the box. That's my dad. Rude. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Rude. Or at least what's left of him. Are you serious? I was raised by a skeleton. This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Hold on. How can you know that for sure? How do you know I'm that's him? Detective. Given all that information we have already, that's the only possible answer. Well, that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he is somewhere in the school right now. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. Well, most likely, my father was in this school, but he was also dead. It's my assumption, anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong, which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I knew Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties, but was that all there was to it? I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kyotogiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Nice. Fucking nice. <laughs> Great. Fucking nice. Fan hey, Doug, fucking tastic. When you first began playing this game, the fucking rocket ship? The first execution? Was that him? Yeah. Yeah. It's never stated, Tana, huh, that it was him. I mean, it's pretty well implied. Well, yeah, it's implied, but it's never stated. I'm never stating more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience oh a feeling like it's levitating. <laughs> this filing cabinet seems to be the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should still take a closer look. But I don't think Yoko would like some strain would would like some stranger like me touching your dad's stuff. It's fine. Check whatever you want. Are you sure? <sighs> okay then. Are you sure she did? She's not psychic? I went through each <laughs> drawer one by one, starting from the top. 
but all I found were piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? It's just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, or legacy. Instead, he left it all behind. If he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been that much more of a failure. I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. Picture. Oh, this picture. She's legit smiling. Mm -hmm. That's actually making me really sad. Mm -hmm. It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Hey, Kyoko! <gasps> you, you hadn't seen it yet? Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past, and yet... To now find something like this... So what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Born with purple hair. Yep, I was weird. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must really have cared about her. Technically you can barely tell, but I think her dad's hair was purple too. Yeah, very faintly. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. That's, that's, actually <laughs> kind of, that's actually kind of funny. Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself. To cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Um. Don't worry. Mad you find out. Anakin, Sky yeah, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Kyoko. Nice. Fucking nice. All this shit's not nice anymore. The nices <laughs> don't make me nice. happy now. <laughs> The headmaster's desk probably had some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but... Oh, hey, you remember all your friends? Yeah, all their ashes are in this one jar, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Check anything you want! Don't worry about me! Are you sure? Yes, Never fine! Never in the way of the investigation! Okay, didn't need any of that dialogue. Okay. Starting from Let's the top, now we're here. here. I, just be here I, I opened all the desk drawers and started to look inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents, but in the last drawer. Oh! <gasps> in case of it's emergency. It's a handbook, it's got a label that says in case of emergency! Yay! <gasps> I found some kind of emergency handbook in the. Oh. A handbook, with, a handbook with no limitations, given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. <laughs> the headmaster, the ultimate authority. The <laughs> master of head. The mo. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan on Cox. Uh, I, I don't want to think of my dad that way. Ew. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But Kyoko, I, I, mean, do I, don't, I don't have to be the main character the I whole time. I want you to do all the work. I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. <laughs> but then I guess I'll take it. <laughs> is it really okay? Jesus Christ. Nice. This one's an actual nice. This one's useful right, right now. Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? What? <laughs> what? Can we just put what on the screen? <laughs> I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but... Could you leave? Huh? I need to cry. Just for a little while. I'd just like to be alone for a bit. The moment I shut the door... <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko. Don't worry. I I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. You know what's funny is even all these jokes aren't uh, helping my mood at all. I need to get <laughs> my emotions in order. This is still having the exact desired effect on me. You, you know, Kyoko, you told me before about the regu the relationships you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul, but... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. Theory. <laughs> oh, sorry. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. That problem can't be solved so easily. I'm fucked up. You're right. I'm sorry. Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. <laughs> no, you gotta do it muffled, like, like oh. put. There, there, you, there you go. Kyoko, it must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. God, I just saw this to find out what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the headmaster might perform that evil deed. 
They killed the headmaster. Killed Kyoko's father. You know, I did at the end of the at the end of the Mukuro case, we did actually get a rocket ship thing. Yeah. So that would imply that yes, that was the And in fact if you looked in the trash heap, the rocket was there too. I think you're right. Yeah, I remember seeing that now. I just didn't think anything of it at the time. They killed the headmaster. Killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. They killed him. He's dead. He, he, he died. He's dead. He's no longer breathing. <laughs> Fucking we you, know what this says. Suffocation. If you kill no someone, breathing. they'll Don't die. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> I hurt my teeth eating. <laughs> but we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. Which means the mastermind's true identity is... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm getting tired of saying that bit. Yeah. Fifteen of us met in the, ma in the mail hall. Oh, mail yeah, I guess it is the mail hall. Add Mukuro into the mix and you get 16, and including me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. <laughs> oh, it is actually a recap of everybody. Yeah, just remind you. In case you didn't need that emotional intensity. I didn't need that. <laughs> Even Mukuro. What? <laughs> Even she's undeniably dead. The E dead. The E dead. So the only one. So the ones still left alive are. Wow. Me. Asshole. Yucks. Robot. Robo. Robo Stono. Hate her. <laughs> the Robo Stono. The <laughs> Robo Stono. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> Angel. The best character. Petite Angel. Who's probably the mastermind. Dika. <laughs> what do you and think Kyoko. of Kyoko? You don't have anything to say really about Kyoko. No Kyo for Kyoko's and cry baby. Like Ky Kyoko is an actual character. Yeah, you actually like her. She's actually become a character now. Yeah, but do you like her? She's become a character now, so He's, yes. No, he did, he does not want to say he likes her. Why? No, okay, I'm saying I don't feel like I should have to justify it. The reason I didn't like her before was because she didn't she really didn't ha have anything. she didn't really have any character traits, and now she does. Yeah. Now there's things to like about her. Oh, kitty kitty. Only those six people are still alive, and there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Yep. So now I just go on with my business, right? Yep. yep. And that business is fucking with everyone's lockers. Yep. Yay! Let's open them all up. Oh, it's, it's a, a draft! <laughs> <laughs> is that we, drawing of any purpose? Come on, Except we, for the come on, we, we, we just, we just gotta have what some... What do you mean? Some, you make it sound like the giraffe has a purpose. Some I, emotional... I, emotional no. Okay, okay I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, locked. There's a card reader. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, really? Is it gonna make me do this emergency? No, 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 I just gonna say... Okay, alright. Let's see what's inside. Locker is totally disorganized. Huh. Whoever belongs to it probably has an organization. Oh. Why you does know. this look like it's Yasa Heroes? <laughs> I'm really upset. Why? Okay. I'm really upset. Why? You know what? I'll talk about it later. Okay. This is a crystal ball. No, it can't be. There's no way he ever uses lockers. It's just not possible. Okay. Who's the other thing? Incense? Makes no incense. Is deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, now they're just telling fortunes? It's just a coincidence, right? Do you have to check all that? Is it this stuff, I think, is most important. I... I'm checking it for me. Okay, gotcha. This one. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked in no particular order and dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever, stu whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. I'm trying to act as casual and neutral as possible, I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. But the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of e easiness I may have had evaporated. What? There was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yasuhiro Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean... He attended classes here? No, that can't be possible. He's I mean, Hiro came to this school at the same time <laughs> as the rest of us. We were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? Shut up. <laughs> Let's see anything that might be a clue. Okay. Uh, it's practically empty. That. It's just 
one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see any name written on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is, but there's some writing inside. It could be important. I don't like violating an owner's privacy, but I better take a look. Looks like a girl's handwriting. All the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must be really meticulous. Huh? I was looking through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. There's no to that? I don't remember, so I'll just There's do it. a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in communal life. I decided to talk to the one who came up with a plan directly. It just so happens to be the oh, headmaster. My, my father. father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, and to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world, to serve as the foundation for a new era. You know what's funny is I actually thought about that earlier in this game. What? And I was like, maybe that was their original intention, and then it got fucking hijacked. Mm, this is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was. I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko. It couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't, she said she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens. Yeah, it's the same shit. Yada yada yada. What does all this mean? I quickly scanned the remaining pages of the notebook. I must, I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question mark spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, scrawled. Spare walks among us, and so we survive. There was a second to spare. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could the pot? How could this possibly make any sense? Nice. Great. 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 All right. So before before this gets even further, now my new theory. Um, everybody that's going to Hope's Peak right now was going here before, and that they all got fucking brainwashed and uh, were basically given these personas that they were supposed to have s supposedly had just to play it up for the drama on the TV. Boom. I have to keep moving the investigation forward. I have to believe in everyone. I think you're done with this room, actually. Am I? Yeah. I don't see anything that I include. Did I already open this one? Nope. Uh, let's see if there's anything that I can include. You know what? I'm just gonna make sure I put it Okay. I don't see anything. I think they're all open already. So. Yeah. So, you're good to go. Yeah. Oh my god. You can leave. Fucking hate this game! Why? But now you can go and check out a different area of the school. Yep. Uh, you're done with this area. Wait, wasn't there one more thing I could scan? The, the, the key card with? No. There no. was nothing in that room. Remember, it was the bathroom that was rubbled, and then it was just the nice on the bed. I thought there was... Oh, yeah. I forgot. I can't it all, by the way. Next. What are you going to check? Uh, um, shit. What else is there? Unless, to check? Lab? Unless you can show the notebook to Kyoko. I can't remember if you can do that yet. Biolab? I don't really recall. Monokumador. Was it the headmaster's room? He already... Oh, yes. And uh, I lab the one, master's room. Uh, the door of the monokuma. monokuma and then there was one more thing, right? You did the bio lab? We did the bio lab. Er... I'm just trying to remember what on each floor so I can just get them as I'm going up. What okay, well, it? you'll start on the fourth floor. Start on the fourth floor? Well, I mean, you can go up to it's, the fourth floor. It's data, bio lab. Yeah. Well, just because if you're going from lowest to highest, the stuff that you're investigating starts on the fourth floor. Oh, so it's only 4th and 5th floor? Yeah. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember that. They allow for the 4th floor, right? Yeah. And so is the headmaster. What the fuck is that? Fucking stairs, dude. 
I could. Oh, I could fast travel, but I don't like the, 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 the suspense of this. Yeah, and you wouldn't get to see the lights flicker into this. Yeah. Okay, there's only a turbo pyramid. Hey, what's <laughs> going on? All right, this is fourth one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, data lab. Let's check out that fucking ass monochrome door. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like I'm. I'm really oh. feeling. It. Hey, what's up, boy? Ah, Makoto, are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured all the doors in the school have been unlocked. That one should be open too, right? Although, I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? And that really sucks. So you open it. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Sure, that sounds reasonable. Anything for you, Ella. Oh my okay. god. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Ah, uh, wait! Let me take cover first! I don't want to get exploded! I'm gonna race over to a nearby desk and hit him with it. Okay! Go ahead! All clear! Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw my weight in it. Door was much easier than I expected. It's the bathroom. It's just a bathroom. <laughs> it's a custom bath. Yeah, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. My first impression was... Whoa! This place is totally sci-fi! Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. All right, what all there is there? Just oh, those two. Just those two things. Cool. Hatch. There's some kind of hatch on the floor, but right now I'm more concerned about that weird device. And the hatch is actually pretty fucking interesting. I took the hatch time with you, Makoto. What is this device? Looks like some kind of control panel. Is it? Oh, it's like some kind of million. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's, it's the thing. Yeah. The control of the thing. Kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Fumi'd probably freak out if he saw it. Oh what? <laughs> cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean... Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Well, hold on, you can't just or whatever something like this. But it was too late. He was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? I'm not entirely sh totally sure, but I think it was that one. The button that says Data Center. Data Center? Took a good look at the control panel and saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. <coughs> Just like Hina said, there was one labeled Data Center. That must be the one she pushed. But the Data Center, it's right next door. I mean, we're just in. It's the Monokuma's yes, there. Yes, please! Fucking I'm obviously kind of Monokuma. Check it out. Monokuma's there, obviously. We just heard him go blam. Uh, we just heard him go blam. Did I just hear what I think I heard? It's the boam. Yeah, what's up, man? Boam. Yeah, see? Right fucking there. Right fucking there. Told you. Is that Monokuma? And he's just disabled. There's nothing in there. Hey! Gorn! Ah! Give me all your donuts! Oh! <laughs> okay, that's... Should I? That's adorable, actually. No, you can do it, yeah. No, no, it should still be him, because yeah. that's the Monokuma voice yeah. just saying things always says. Is that you, Hina? What? Oh man, busted! How did you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Well, you found the flower button. <laughs> ah, guess what I found? A self-destruct <gasps> button! Whatever you do, don't push it. Oh man! Are you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that I settles it. Like the room one. with the monochrome drawer, <laughs> the door with the monochrome drawing on it, and the control panel inside. Why do you like her? She wanted to blow you the fuck to <laughs> fucking heaven. Blow the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Forever. Hey, oh, hey, Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? What you controlling just now? It was Monokuma. Monokuma. I mean, she kind of knew you her are. What? For real? Yup, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. Oh, Which is why they couldn't In other the words, students and control Monokuma. Come on. Whoa, it all makes sense. It's Man. what I said before. Myra, blah, it's blah, like blah. The ship. We've known it for a chapter or two. Yeah, Kyoko's theory was right. But if the Mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they've been inside the school this whole time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, no, 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 no,
great! In the mastermind, Monokuma's puppeteer really is a 16th student. No, oh, it can't be. There's no way, right? Nice. Okay, this is actually a nice one. What's wrong, Makoto? Oh, I don't like that face you're making. Oh no, it's nothing. Uh oh, okay. Oh. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, well, it's just... This is where the mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. So, like... You wanna leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Yeah. Alright. I'll protect What's wrong, Makoto? Let's hurry up and leave. Do I not get to check that out, really? Well, I mean, obviously, that's how they've been entering the room. As soon as the door was data center closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Ah! Uh, the door! It just locked on its own! What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked, but why? Of course it's locked! Because the data center is now restricted! I'm fucking upset. Uh -huh. Monokuma! Hey, no fair! You can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. It's for your benefit! Because that room stays open, I wouldn't be able to move around! Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving! In that room. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are! So, right now, you're being operated by someone in that room? Correct the mundo! But that doesn't uh, that make- That actually what I was gonna say before <laughs> you That doesn't yeah. make any sense! We were just in there! We didn't see anyone! Oh, you didn't, did ya? <laughs> are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? I'm fucking hatch. I'm so mocking. Yes. If you happen to check, oh, a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? Yeah, the one that I was gonna fuck it! I'm so separate. <laughs> Too bad! That was your one big chance, and you blew it. And <laughs> that, your voice went out, and you blew it. <laughs> yeah, of course, that hatch can't be open from outside anyway, so whatever. It wouldn't have worked anyway. Now then, this room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. <laughs> Peace! He's gone, but was he telling the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think about when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Then, when I said we should leave... Well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Okay... It's the fucking game's fault. <laughs> anyway, we don't have to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice! nice. Oh, <laughs> You've got me time. all motivated. Nice! You just wanted to say nice. You've got me I, I all did. motivated again. Okay, I'm out. See you later. I think you took off at a full sprint. And I have to I have to do what I can now, too. It's the only way forward. So let's go check out the headmaster's room, shall we? Oh, uh, what the fuck is that? What kind of voice is that? Was that Chihiro? Right? No, that was just me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It sounded like Chihiro. It kind of did. Okay, cool. It was Chihiro, then. He's with us in the screen. What? It's the asshole. Wait. Wait. Zoom in on the sword. That looks, hey! that looks familiar. I've heard a lot awful lot of things about it, but this is my first time seeing it for myself. Oh Makoto, it's you. Oh, Biakia. Ah, <laughs> uh, Biax. <laughs> oh. Biax. <laughs> you are, so. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. <laughs> I guys just talk right now, it just seemed like that would actually be a conversation. <laughs> there are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. We already know kyok has been here. Kyok's. I find Kyoko Kyoko's. Hey Makoto, you ignoring me? You think I'll forgive that just because you're you? Yeah. When we get out of here, remember this moment. Uh, he's like, please. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> oh, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Here's my dick. What do you mean something interesting? I have a, a proposal for you. Boing. <laughs> Who's on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk? Class 78 student registry. It contains profiles for all of us and Muguro. Apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room, yeah, fucking we did 78, 78, 78. Go. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in here along with hers, 
That can be no doubt. Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of Even us. Even though you haven't learned shit since you got here. <laughs> Mukuro Ikasaba, the 16th student. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. It seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? She was in so much of a hurry, she only got the first page. The first page? Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. What? In other words, when it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro. Hold What kind of information is it? Why don't you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of man he was. I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Byakuya as I skimmed through the report. Mukuro reappeared suddenly, and in the, in the background, an entity... Wait. And in the background, an entity floats close, just out of reach. An entity known as the Ultimate Despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. It just reminds me of fucking Krona from Soli. Or from Krona? Soli. Krona. Krona. Okay. Yeah. Just fucking like the ultimate despair is just Ragnarok. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> or some like kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro oh, definitely so has some sort of connection to it. Look, I even kind of like has a Krona look. I have a... The hair is not pink. Yeah, but I mean, like, the rest of it. Yeah. Very, very kind the, of... The very, very, the very, very, like, gender-ambiguous like features. It's the, the, the collar to mm -hmm. the outfit. It's very similar. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push them forward with my research into the Star Wars trilogy to truly understand this. <laughs> into the into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior, too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all re reasonable measures. Mukuro was a part of the ultimate despair? I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why... why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the headmaster seems to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They wouldn't have had they would have had to take her out completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was? What's wrong, Makoto? Uh huh, I'm expositing, dude. You seem to be lost in thought. But I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. A girl who seems to be included as part of our class number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. The further information about that girl was included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, and it even lists her vitals. 31, 22, 32. Well, what do you think? What should I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and think, maybe you'll think, Oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say... There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro, is that what he's saying? Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. So I'm back to being Biaka's errand boy. Nice. And we will continue next time on Root Beer Gamer. Next wait, time! Hang on, oh, do, wait. Can, can we squeeze one more episode out of this, or should we just... Yeah, end? we can, yeah. but yeah. one yeah. last thing I guess I'll say oh, okay. this. Mm, one last thing. There's a bit of advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Hold it. Advice for me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? That's what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? My hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it to don't as you will. I I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Now next time on Root Beer Gamers. Next time, yeah, next time on, on Root Beer Gamers. Root Beer Gamers. See ya! And I'm gonna take a moment actually because I don't think you ever see it in this game but this is what Mukuro actually looks like. <laughs>